Hello friends from our Learn Channel. On our own behalf, the company Cofaso helped our college students a lot with their software. Now it's time to thank them and give a place in our channel. In this video today you will learn how to design a simple project in Cofaso. So I will start from the scratch. First of all, a new project we create, then immediately go to do symbol libraries. So IEC library is going to be the library that you're going to use most of the time, especially when you realize a project in Europe. And so there's a search area in the symbol, symbol library that you can search for your symbol. So in this case, M05 is my three phase induction motor. I placed it in the project designing area and I call the terminals, the second one, third one, and the fourth one. So I will go immediately inside the fourth terminal and I will change the terminal type to PE terminal, then you will see the change immediately as a green dot line in the uh, fourth terminal. So let's use a cable for these four conductors. And I will define my own cable for this symbol. So let's say cable one here, uh, you can of course give some information like price information manufacturer etc but the most important thing when you def when you're defining a cable is uh, here the number of conductors for example or conductor designation uh, which type of conductor the numbered conductors or you want uh, iec colored co short codes so here in this case, I'm having uh, numbered conductors, one, two, three, and for the uh, earthing, green, yellow. So I will call motor protection relay. I place it. So you will see all the connections are real connections. And then T points are coming. So one for the jumper as well. So I will basically copy and paste the circuit so second one third one fourth one as you see here the system numbers automatically the devices and the terminal strips motors etc etc so here i will go to macro library i will use a, a potential arrow of macro and um, so there are two displays in a macro library to place the macro and please be attended here after I place the macro, uh, the name of the lines L1, L2, L3 will jump automatically to the right side. So one potential arrow for the jumper. Once you type PE at the background, it's gonna be saved. So you don't have to type it again. So you can ch choose uh, from this three dot. So second page, here I will use a contactor or K01 also is going to call the contactor. So there's from this contactor selection button, I basically choose a real product from a component manufacturer. You immediately see the uh, power contact uh, information under the symbol. Uh, according to this uh, spe specific part. Then immediately go to the first page again. So I will use the power contacts or circuit breakers of this contactor, let's say. So there's a question mark, which means you need to uh, say this co contact is belonging to K1 contactor and five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six automatic numbering. 
So when you go to the second page again, you will see the cross references of these power contacts. And page and path uh, references as well. Uh, so I will basically from these two uh, designing pages, I'm creating all the manufacturing reports. So here is the table of contents and uh, basically page designation. When I type here motors, I will see immediately the update for the third page in the index list table of contents. So I have four terminal strips in my terminal plan. And uh, I will make a change here. Instead of four terminal strips, I want to have only one terminal strip. And let's number the terminals. Then here, as you can see, the system updated in the terminal plan to change immediately. So now I have 16 terminals all together in under X110. So here's my cable plan. You see the number of conductors, etc. So this is terminal, terminal connection plan, which is very important, especially for the installation. Uh, device list. So you, when you choose a real product, you will also see in the device list. Manufacturer list, the so system creates a different uh, list for each manufacturer. Wiring lists, we will go back. Part list, you see all the parts one by uh, how many of them you have. So purchase order list gives you a, a price uh, with the price. Uh, here is the how you can uh, number the wires in the panel. So basically now it makes it one, two, three, but generally we use uh, L1, L2, L3, especially yeah when you say set symbol number to connected wire, then number again, then you will have L1, L2, L3, and one, two, three, four. So target specific numbering is also very common, especially is very good for the maintenance, very, uh, it makes it easier. So you see basically where it's, where it's coming from and where it goes to. And then you can export these numbers to Excel to give your printing machine, or you can also, um, export these numbers from terminals, from all devices for the labeling. So not only for the uh, wiring in the panel.